Hi everyone, my name is Emma. Welcome back to our channel. Special welcome back to all our homework club kiddos. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to be doing a math trick today, but before we get to it, let's go over our positive action or our positive tip of the day. Today's positive action is going to be dealing with the feeling or emotion of worry. So worry is a very heavy emotion. It can stay with us. So it is very important to understand how to deal with that emotion in a healthy and positive way. I do want you to understand that worrying is okay and it is very normal. When it becomes unnormal or unhealthy is when you can think of nothing else, when it consumes your thoughts. So here's a trick that hopefully can help you manage those feelings of worry and help you come out more positive and more excited. The trick I wanna tell you guys about is called a mantra. What is a mantra? It's a phrase or words that you repeat to yourself to help you maybe kind of calm yourself down and recenter yourself. So an example of this could be, you're going to speak publicly in front of the class. Now for a lot of people, that's not fun. People don't like to talk in front of people and they have to kind of build themselves up for it. A mantra can help with that. So something you could say could be, I am confident, I will do well, I believe in myself. I encourage you guys to go and find your own mantras that will help you feel empowered in situations of worry. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our math trick. I hope you guys are excited, because I am. <laughs> so today's trick isn't something that's going to give you the answers. It's something that's going to help you understand what's going on in your homework a little bit more. So it's designed to help you see, visualize, what's going on on that paper, and sometimes mental math can be confusing, so I am here to help. I don't have paper plates to use in this video, and if you don't, no worries. All you need is sheets of paper, something round to trace. I use this roll of tape. I traced the outsides, it worked quite well, and a pencil. I will suggest you use a pencil with an eraser. It's very helpful, especially when we get into drawing and tracing the thirds who you're gonna need it. But I didn't want you to stress if you don't have paper plates, you've got everything you need right in front of you. Along with those supplies mentioned, you will be needing some scissors. So make sure you ask permission before you start using them. I personally am also going to be outlining and coloring in some of them. So if that's something you wanna add as well, go ahead. You don't have to, I just thought it would be fun. understand how we are making our fractions here is what they look like as you saw in the video I gave them all their own patterns this was just to simply help kind of keep them all together if I did get confused and I did see the label it was kind of like a puzzle every piece has its own pattern and when you're making those patterns as you saw in the previous video don't be afraid to go over the lines you're cutting it all out no one can tell be sloppy it's okay to mess up you'll be fine so let's get to what these little guys will help us do. As you can see, we have everything laid out, all our fractions. Now this is just pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You take your one fourths, your one fourths. So two one fourths, guess what? Two one fourths gives you one half. And what does one half give you? Well, you put two halves together, you get a whole. So as you can see, it's simply kind of like a puzzle. You lay things over, you're kind of understanding how the fractions or how these numbers occupy space. So it's a nice visual aid for all your math homework. 
Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our trick today. It was a whole bunch of fun. It's something that I use with my students and is proven to kind of jog that visualization to mental math kind of barrier sometimes. So if you use it, I hope you understand you don't need these paper plates. You can do it using anything. And that goes for a lot of stuff we do on this channel. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow and bye.